What do I want to do? Welcome back, one and all, to Red Dead Redemption 2. I am the Dark Seraph, and last time, we bailed our reverend friend out of a tough situation. Hey, Lenny. Lenny! Come now, blue car. Let us go. Well, I should get back to it. Okay. Let's go get us a buck and sell it in the town while I'm out. Well, I didn't mean to skin it. I meant to pick it up. But I'll sell the hide all the same. Probably better to do that anyway. Poor? Why is it that it says poor if I shot it with the bow? Is it because it was running? Can't stow it. Screw it then. Oh, there's something yeah. over here. Whoa. Oh. Did the university send you? Uh, university? Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at, balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. Okay. I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> Maybe you're just crazy. What? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Is Deborah McGinnis? 
Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen, if you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Sure. Good day to you, sir. Dino bones. That's fun. And that over there looks like somebody's camp. I wonder if they're friendly! Here's hoping they ain't. <laughs> That's what you get for pointing a fucking gun at me, asshole. Just the horse. yourself out of there. I'm gonna enjoy robbing you, tough guy. Hand it over. Uh, you don't want to see what happens if you don't leave. Calm down. You goddamn idiot. Hold on. What what are you? You're about to get shot to pieces. You know that? Let's see about oh, this. See? I'll stick with what I got, thanks. I'll take your hat. Okay, fair enough. Damn way. Wasting my goddamn time. 
Murder? I'm sorry, what? Excuse I didn't... Me. I didn't gr I didn't murder anyone. He pulled a gun on me. Yep. God damn it. I I didn't ah, damn it. You didn't see nothing. Howdy. Hey, partner. Oh, you're out doing some hunting. And they just went right on by me. Okay. Don't think I got it. Ah, a fox. Wonder what you're worth. Fox pelt. I'm not gonna eat fox meat, okay? That's the wrong button. I keep trying to hit the touchpad to bring up the map. I don't know why. Is there a butcher in the Emerald Ranch? I don't think so. I know there's a butcher in Valentine that will buy a fox from me. So I guess while I'm riding off, I can talk about this. I brought it up briefly in Darksiders. Um, Pokemon Sun and Shield have been... Sun and Shield. Sword and Shield have been announced. And I have to say, I'm looking forward to it. I don't know which version I'll be picking up yet. Probably Sword. I'll be getting whatever version my sister doesn't. And since it's coming to the Switch, I gotta ask. Do you want to see a playthrough of Pokemon on this channel? I'm not going to go do any of the DS or handheld games for that matter because I'm not going to resort to using an emulator. I do not have the means to record off my 3DS. And I will not resort to an emulator. I am not going to take the chance of getting nailed legal wise. Even if you own a physical copy or a digital, legitimate digital copy of the game you are emulating, it is still technically piracy and you can get into serious trouble for it. And knowing my luck, I'd be the one to have the FBI knock on my fucking door. So I'm not going to take that chance. Not going to happen. Nope. Uh-uh. Moving on. But yeah, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Gotta say, looking forward to it. Uh, it's supposed to come out 
what, November? Apparently the beta names were they were playing with were Crown and Scepter playing with the whole, you know, medieval thing. I mean, if I do that, Nintendo's gonna claim mo monetary rights on the videos. There's no getting around that. But I don't monetize my videos, so it doesn't really matter to me. Yep. Ain't much game. Out of the Guess way. it wasn't your day today, huh? I got all I need, thank you. Yeah, yeah, there's a bounty on my head. Four o'clock in the morning. That's what you get from hitting a lady. Now then, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to take your money. Or, yeah, I'll take whatever you have, you dick. Hit a lady like that. Lucky I didn't fucking shoot your ass. Getting the kit shicked out of you is the least of your damn worries. There we go. A lot of folk coming by with these lately. Shatterbox son of a bitch kept pestering me while I drank, so I knocked his teeth out. Ain't the first time. Good enough. Real good doing business with you. Put all that troublemaking behind you now. I wish there's a way I could check how much money I have. Now let's get to Hosea and see what he wants. I think if the animal sees me and is in trying to run away from me, then the carcass will not be as valuable. I think that's how that works. Yeah. 
Some nice traveling folk. Hey, partner. Hey there. Friendly folk. Hey there. Good morning to you. Good old friendly folk. It sure is nice to see it. Oh, I got a red one. Let's put you out of it now. Nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, okay, I guess I can just sell you the hide. Disturbing imagery of morning. Poor. I don't get why it, why it does that. Blacktail Jackrabbit. That's actually a fawn. No joke. Let's go, bro. Jackrabbit is a fawn. It is in the deer family. In terms of animal species, anyway. Classification, I should say. The whole jackalope thing, they're a thing. They have little nups. It's not... Did I get it? I thought I had the bow out. There's other types of arrows, apparently. Yeah, that I got it. Really? I don't need no new friends on the road. Get lost. Move it. Yeah. 
The horse moved out of the way for the carriage. That's nice. Okay, bounty hunters, good on you. Be lucky, they, be happy that they're bringing you in alive, buddy. They don't have to. Sorry, puppy dog. You should get out of the damn way. Uh, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss here. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown, what you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Karma de Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, <laughs> I love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> The place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. No killing. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Oh my god. Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Jose. That feller's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Good point. 
So what's the story with that emerald Hello. ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. How he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house. Probably just sweet on her. That what you call finding out a little? Once he opens up, seems Seamus does like to talk. Hopefully not too much. Oh yes, horse balls. That's that's the that's the added touch of I guess I don't know what the word is. Immersion, yeah, immersion that I needed. Damn, that's a nice scenery. Like, even on 720p, it looks pretty damn good. It's just weird seeing it stretched on my 1080. Then be seeing it, looking over to watch it be compressed on the 720. Place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. No, no, no. What the f Hey now! Hey, hey, hey! That is not what I picked up. There's the house. See the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it by night. Under cover of darkness. Just wait. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. Okay, peek through the windows, make sure it's all quiet. ground level always good to double check now let me move stay low and stay quiet
Hold on, I'm not done robbing. Yeah, boy. Come on, get on and let's head back. We'll come back for the horses. Come on, let's get this thing moving. I feel like we should really be using our own horses for this. Okay. I want to try and rob a train one day. Nicely done. We got everything we needed. And I'm pretty sure they never even knew I was there. Yes, we. Less problems the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece and it's a good night's work. What were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. None too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. Hey, friend. This was easier than hunting a thousand-pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Yeah, exactly. How long do you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. It feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Even if we had to dump the money from the ferry, we could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. No, I think we've learned our lesson there. And a few other lessons besides. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Howdy, partner. Come on, get clear. Easy. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Out the door here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Uh, later. Nah, I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Stay out of trouble. Who, me? 300. Your share, 75. That was it. Well, I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Red Dead Redemption 2. As I continue my life of crime in the wild, wild west of 1899. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.